it's allowed to tear up, and that one is not. Hey, you be a good boy, okay? Daddy will be home soon. Good morning, guys, and welcome back to the channel. Got the JL warming up here. We're gonna head out to Menard to pick up some stuff for the trailer. And we're gonna get right in it today. It's supposed to be up in the 50s today. I think it's supposed to be in the 50s all week, so we're gonna get a lot of work done. So let's get started. After getting my supplies loaded up, I headed over to the house and got right to it. In hindsight, I wish I would have glued these on, but I nailed them on, so I got a ton of little holes to fill. And then I think gluing it on would have kept that quieter. Of course, it's not like you're going down the road with this, so. Well, you would hear it, but I think next time I'll glue this on. I'm taking this trim off along the door here to make it easier for me to paint this without. Another thing I would do different is I would not use this beadboard. Uh, I was told by somebody to use that and I wish I would have just used a, like a Luan plywood like I did here. Um, I wanted to make it a little thicker than the original thickness of the uh, trailer so that I could get the window to fit correctly. And so I put this over the top of the Luan in the back, Luan board however you say that. And uh, it worked great for the window, but this stuff is, you know, it's really easily damaged. In the last video, I told you that I had a few things I had to correct. This is one of the spots where I made some mistakes earlier. And so here I'm uh, measuring and cutting some new trim pieces. My wife went out to visit grandkids and before she left she said be safe don't hurt yourself and of course what did I do but when you combine these with this you get this at least in my case after getting all bandaged up I decided to go into the house and just make myself some supper today I decided to make some wings and Try a new recipe in the air fryer. They turned out great and they were delicious. The next morning it was time to head across town to pick up the trailer for the new build. I'm going to stop right here. I've got to make a couple of adjustments to the back. I had this seven round on here. And what I do is it plugs into the factory four slot. 
Uh, so I need to unhook this and hook it back into the factory full slot. Now this trailer has a 2 and 5 16 ball and I didn't have one so I stopped out at the local supply house and picked up one. But I also found this one which is really long if you notice here and it gets my hitch away from the spare tire. I want to thank the guys at Motion Industries. I put out my uh, crescent wrench to tighten up the ball. So, they graciously allowed me to come in and use their shop tools. But yeah, you can see how this, on my other ones, I have trouble getting this up, especially if there's any kind of an incline with the hitch. You can't get it up and release, so. That's gonna work out really nice. It's going to be interesting to see with this much bigger of a trailer how the uh, diesel does and so far I can't tell it's back there so of course it is empty I'm going to be building it out putting some windows air conditioner uh, work benches electric uh, work vent flooring and paint so There'll be some weight added, and I think they're using it for the uh, mobile RV repair. Uh, it's RV upholstery repair, actually. And so, I'm I'm guessing they're not going to have a ton of weight in the trailer. Uh, I think they have a F-250 or something to pull it with, so it doesn't matter. I'm just thinking of how much weight I'm adding. The dual axle is nice. And I almost bought the dual axle for my setup, but unfortunately it would have been just too heavy by the time I felt it out for the uh, diesel JL to handle. At the time we had a two door Rubicon and I had to keep it under 2,000 pounds. So I chose to go with the one axle. And I'm just gonna keep up on the tires and keep up on the uh, spring shackle and everything, make sure that the alignment's good so I don't have overheated tires and blow out. I'm also going to put a tire pressure monitoring system on it uh, that will alert you, you know, if you've got a tire that's overheating or starting to go down. So that'll help with the uh, two axle. But yeah, so let's get it home and well, I've got a lot of work to do on the other one before I want to pull it out today. I can't keep them both in there. You'll see a really short driveway. I'm hoping this one will fit. So let's get it home and get started. I definitely notice a difference with the uh, two axle. It does take out some of the bounce, but uh, our trailer is pretty light, so it's not a big deal. But I would imagine a trailer this size, you have to go with two axle. Um, yeah, the JL is just pulling it like it's nothing. Okay, a few more holes I had to patch up that I found, but otherwise I think we're pretty good and ready for paint. I get some comments on Facebook about, you know, I don't have time to do this or I don't have the place or whatnot. I mean, I think you can do this just about anywhere. Um, if you have to keep a trailer in a storage area, but you can bring it home and park it along your street for a day. You can get a lot done in one day. The other thing is, just get started. I mean, build your platform bed, put a toilet in it, or some type of restroom in it, um, and just go, you know? It doesn't have to be perfect. 
it beats a tent in my opinion. But uh, I think the main thing is just to get started. Sometimes we talk ourselves out of even starting because it's too much work or it's too hard or I don't know what I'm doing. You can find everything on YouTube. I've made plenty of mistakes. Just got to do the best you can and, you know, when in doubt, caulk it, putty it, or weld it. I'll let that last bit of putty dry. I'm going to run over here and take the uh, TJ and go move the rooftop tent trailer out of the way so that I can get ready to put our trailer in that spot. Yeah, much better. I got it in there, but not an inch to spare. It's gonna make working on it kind of difficult. It's the best I got so to make do. That's gonna be it for this video. Make sure you hit the like button, the comment, subscribe, and share my video. See you next week when we find some real issues. This is unreal. Look at all the leaks. I'm not perfect. I'm not trying to just criticize somebody else's work and think that I'm perfect. I'm far from it. But this and that is totally unacceptable. RC trailers, you should be ashamed of yourself to be putting out a product like this.